Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Shotgun King. We're up to rank two. We're doing King Richard the Third, the low firepower, high fire range, high spread, high bullets, high bandolier, pierce gun. And now I've also turned on speedrun mode that's in the options here. So in case you're wondering why things might look a little bit different, I just thought it'd be fun to have that on. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive on in there. I kind of wish speedrun mode would cancel the cutscene, though maybe that did make it click faster? Not sure. Okay. Anyway, we're going to do our typical strategy. We're going to head on up this way, start blasting. We're trying to kill this bishop to get the bishop soul. Man. Three bullets in the chamber still takes a lot of work. A lot of work with that three power. Okay. Go. So definitely want some firepower. Just that one card that's like plus one firepower would be amazing. Oh my god. I think I'm going to take this every 10 turns. <laughs> definitely don't want that and definitely don't want that. I got very lucky here. This is a complete non-issue. So we got a really strong one here. One firepower every 10 turns. Pawns can move like they do in chess. On their first move, they can move two spaces. Actually, without that, they cannot. Uh, typically... They only move, they, they, they not typically, they can only move one space normally. All right, I'm lucky the king didn't get up next to me. Um, because that would have been annoying. Oh god, the firepower. Even with, well, it got up to four by the end there. But, I mean, it's obviously the, the arc is an issue as well. Ooh, interesting. So we can do grenades. Remove a bishop and add six pawn and then, you know, chuck a grenade. The bleeding would make it so that with my high fire arc thing, I could hit the computer more. Or we could go in a totally different direction. Just add three pawns and get blade. Oh, God. You know what? It's a tough one. But we're going to go ahead and just go for the grenade. We'll do blade another time. And now this is kind of funny. There's actually no bishop. So we are going to... Oh, wow. It's kind of weird. When the pawns start up an extra row... It's actually a little bit of danger that I am going to have to deal with some promotion. Okay, I'm trying to get close before chucking the grenade. That's what. That's why I'm kind of dilly-dallying here. Okay, so I'm going to chuck it right here. Alright, three damage to the king and bleed. So now anything that hits him does a minimum of two damage. And now we get him. Alright, we got the minus one fire range. Definitely don't want that. Ah, oh, no power. I don't know if there is one that gives power. I never see this thing give power. I thought there was a version of this that gave a power, but I could be misremembering, I guess. Maybe it's just always ammo regeneration and fire range. I'm not sure why I thought there were a variety of effects. I'm going to chuck the grenade right now because I really didn't want the pawns that start on the third rank. Yeah, it's very frustrating when those pawns go up two squares. I must confess. Okay, we're going to be a little bit aggressive. I'm going to move here. And then we're going to try to get a queen soul. And now, I think we just go for it. I know those pawns are about to start promoting. Mm, I guess that's the problem with using the grenade to kill pawns. Because grenades do three damage. Is that I'm not putting bleed on the king. And the, the, the bleed off the grenade on the king was really helpful. More grenade, huh? Oh, but it makes them stun... So they go drop they drop to one damage. I have an extra one, but then they stun pieces. Ah no, much better. So we don't care about the blade minus one. Everyone having plus one HP does suck, but they move slower to compensate. We now have two grenades and an extra damage on the grenade center. Now the extra damage on the grenade center, the with the bouncing, you know, there is a bit of randomness. The grenade might not necessarily well, you you basically can never actually control where that grenade lands. Let's drop it right there. Okay, it didn't get the king. But what it did get is all these pawns are bleeding. That's a spot I cannot move on. Oh, and I have an extra grenade. Let me just check another one and try to get the king with it. Okay, got the king that time. So now the king is bleeding as long as any of the bullets hit. Wow, that hit the queen? Crazy. And there we go. Yeah, the bleed definitely makes a difference. Plus, of course, just the three damage. So... Yeah, just need more firepower. It's, it's pretty much it. We got the thing, so I don't want to lose firepower, although I'd love the backups. Oh, no! It's horrible! Either I lose two grenade damage or I lose a firepower. Uh-huh. And also, I have minus one blade, so this is actually only one blade. Alrighty. 
we're doing this so now all pieces actually have minus two speed so everything moves a lot slower but tragically my grenades have been neutered so now they only do one damage they stun but at least they also bleed so hopefully that helps well the minus two speed you really notice that okay so everything is stunned and bleeding i mean i guess it's hold on i gotta be careful with that if that had been revealed if that pawn had died i would have just lost the game right now because it would have revealed the bishop i guess i am gonna just try to snipe bleed the king okay the bleeding kind of makes up for the lack of damage i also should have thrown more grenades because i have three of them oh my god we got the firepower now i hate the rooks having extra hp and obviously with all these pawns that's never going to get flipped but we got an extra firepower all right we're ready to cook we as the kids say we are going to just step forward a little bit chuck a grenade near the king get him bleeding and these pawns are actually an issue i have to confess they are in fact a problem but oh i right i keep forgetting to throw the damn grenades okay let's just do that okay so i stun the knight i guess it's not that effective i still need to remember i have another grenade all right that was two damage i guess one plus the bleed from the earlier grenade and that was enough to get it done all right next turn when you kill a knight and then the pawns can attack in front of them oh man that really screws things up yeah we're gonna go ahead and just grab some extra ammo and then the knight i already have plenty of ammo to start with because of the gun and i guess there are three knights oops uh, where oh the knights came from that card and eh, maybe that was a mistake i don't know okay so the king is bleeding and remember i do have 25 percent pierce chance so there is uh, a chance that i can shoot through that pawn and hit the king if i had some knockback chance to go with it that would be really lovely okay i'm gonna chuck a grenade see how i threw it further so it bounced more but hey the grenade actually did a pretty good job sniping the king i gotta say the grenade gambit over here okay we have more move range and remove a bishop but add a queen later or firepower from the edge oh god the extra queen uh, oh boy let's go for the move range there are always going to be knights on the board so i'm not worried about that and what else is there just 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 the move range okay so we're gonna move up chuck a grenade i wanted to move up a little closer so the grenade did less bouncing and i'm gonna just throw all the grenade oh only one grenade per turn did not know that okay let's try to get our pierce going all right we're gonna chuck a grenade oh that one had an unlucky bounce reload okay this open file for the rook is a problem i'm gonna step up so the rook puts me in check oh it didn't put me in check well crap i was gonna let it put me in check and then step back let's chuck another grenade that one again did not hit the king but i guess i don't mind all these pieces being oh god <laughs> being stunned hey, i actually killed the rook all right the knight didn't put me in check for some reason King has so much HP. Thank God for these extra firepower boosts. Otherwise, I don't know how I'd be killing that guy. All right, we got more fire range. I think I've already got pretty good fire range, but this is kind of a nothing. I don't really care about the pawns moving in all directions because the only direction that matters to me is forward. Honestly, this might even be a good thing to get them to move a different way. More. Oh, we got. We gotta do it. We. Okay, we gotta do this. But now this does mean there are four knights on the board. So I got to make sure I kill one before I kill the final boss. <laughs> All right, use our move range to jump up here for the grenade to have less bounce. Okay, the grenade stayed trained on the king. And now we push him back. Oh, I did not mean to right click. I actually meant to forward click. That was my mistake. Okay. That was an unlucky bounce, but fine. Push the queen off. That's cool missed the king completely uh-huh okay got another queen on the board and the king dies Whew. okay very strange run here with all these grenades all 
All right, what do we get for our last upgrade? We have a jump. That never really happens. And bold plan, but then we have the witch's curse. Mm. So I could get rid of a white card, and what I could do is get rid of th this or this. Probably, no, I actually like the minus one speed. I could get rid of this. I just don't want there to be four knights on the board. That's, that's the thing I'm going after. I could also get rid of the queen, but the queen hasn't actually been that big of a problem. The main issue is that this thing is kind of bad. So this right here, yeah, I'll just take the nothing card. The card that has a white effect that I don't care about and a black effect that doesn't help at all. So we'll, we'll, we'll swing that way. Now we step up. Actually, I'm in a weird... No, I need, I need, I'm not going to use my extra move. Oh, maybe I will. All right, so now we chuck a grenade. King is bleeding and stunned. We shoot. Okay, I'm going to chuck a grenade. Just want to keep doing that damage to the king. Chuck a grenade. All right. I'm reloading for the first time. And there we go. Okay, so I have to remember, kill one of the knights. Kill one of the knights. Make sure you kill one of the knights. Don't forget to kill one of the knights. Okay. That seemed faster than usual. All right, we chuck a grenade. And now we go to town. I will actually chuck another grenade here. So I'm hoping that I can just kill that knight. Now, there's only three knights left. I'm going to step back, because if I step forward with my stupid arc and kill this knight by accident, I'm going to be in some trouble. Eh, what are the odds? I'll just point my gun away a little bit. Okay, he has six HP left. There are only three knights. It's really not that likely to have four knights. I must have had, like, in the two runs that I did this in, I must have had, like, the... um some kind of backup card that added knights. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. That was a fun one. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.